Today we went behind the scenes of the patrol room. They've rarely been so busy. We got clearance from Port of London. Yeah. Uh, At this point, 10 closures on 10 consecutive tides and preparing this afternoon for another. And it's all about holding back the sea so floodwaters from the river can flow out more easily. What we're seeing is tremendous flows coming over Teddington Weir. What we don't want is the tide to go up there and prevent that flow from coming down. And then we were taken deep under the river to check out the machinery that's now been working day in, day out. What we've got is hydraulic motors driving high pressure oil into large cylinders that you can see behind me. Those cylinders are connected to large gate arms. Do you keep it regularly oiled? <laughs> We have a team here who do comprehensive plan preventive maintenance. The name of the game has got to be reliability and operation. We can't get this wrong. We've got to be able to close the barrier. OK, Mick, can we start to move gate F to close, please, stopping at 46 degrees? So the machinery is doing its job now, and if this continues, the Thames barrier will set a new record, beating 2003 when it stopped 14 consecutive times. And this evening, yet again, each of the barrier's ten gates was holding back tidal waters weighing about 9,000 tonnes. And this pattern will continue until the flood risk on the Thames upstream has receded. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.